New construction communities come into Santan Valley late in 2022, and that's what we're talking about today, and we're getting started right now. Hi there, and welcome back. My name is John Farron. I'm a realtor with HomeSmart Lifestyles here in Queen Creek, Arizona. Now today, I wanna to tell you about four new build communities that are, that are in that coming soon status. They're out there on the horizon and they're gonna be bringing a lot more homes to the Santan Valley market later this year and into next. Now, if you stay with me to the end, I'm gonna throw in a bonus community and I know you're gonna to wanna to stick around for this one. Now, before we get into the meat and potatoes here, if you're working with a realtor or you think that you might be when it comes time to purchase a new build home, your agent has to be with you on your very first visit to that new build community. Otherwise, there's a really good chance they're not gonna be allowed to assist you throughout that build process. The sales agent there, they'll help you with the paperwork and they'll facilitate the whole thing. But don't forget that that sales agent is an employee of the builder. So if you don't have an agent representing you, then you don't really have somebody who their sole specific uh, purpose is to look out for your best interest. So make sure you have a realtor and make sure you take them with you on your first visit. And then the other thing I wanted to touch on, and I've mentioned this before, when it comes to new build communities, the sooner you can get in, the better, because you're only gonna be building equity uh, as that community grows. And what I mean is, is that when you sign that contract, you're locked into that price. So every subsequent price increase after that does not affect you. All you're doing is you're now building equity in your home. So by the time you move into your home, those homes may have gone up 40, 50, $100,000 or more. So anytime you can get in first, that's great. Now today's video, it's all about Santan Valley, but there's new communities coming to Queen Creek and other parts of town as well. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for those new videos so you don't miss out when those drop. Now, Santan Valley had been growing, but it ran into snag a few years back uh, when it ran into problems with the private water uh, utility there, Johnson Utilities. And I won't go into the details, but there were just a lot of issues. Well, those issues have since been cleared up and that company has been taken over by a much larger corporation. Jordan Rose, who's a zoning attorney and represents, I don't know, probably every builder out here, uh, said the following recently. The only thing preventing this Pinal County area from becoming the fastest growing housing market in the state was this problem with Johnson Utilities. Now that the utilities are resolved, look for home builders to flock to Santan. And you know, I couldn't agree more. So let's get on to the very first community, and that one is Bella Vista Farms. This is a new community and it sits on 1,500 acres of land located off Hunt Highway and Bella Vista Farms Road in Santan Valley. Now there's three builders in here and it's going to have about 5,100 homes when this community is completely built out. This community is going to be built in several phases over the next few years and the first phase will be 200 acres consisting of 560 home sites split up among three different builders. Now these builders are Meritage, Lennar, and Ashton Woods Homes, and each one of them really does put out a good quality product. So Meritage will have two series of homes here, the Estate and the Reserve Series, comprising 186 different home sites. And between the two series, will be 13 different floor plans, ranging in size from about 1,282 square feet all the way up to 2,530 square feet. Now these homes are estimated to start in the mid 400s and then of course they'll be going up from there. Now Lennar is the second builder in here and they have three series of homes. These series are the Discovery, Horizon and Signature series and they'll be on 207 individual home sites. Again, every one of these will be a single story home. And then Ashton Woods will be the third builder in here. Now we don't really know anything more than Ashton Woods. They haven't released any floor plans or pricing yet, so that's all I can tell you at this point. Now, not far from Bella Vista Farms, we move over to Combs Ranch. Now, this is a Taylor Morrison community. It's located on the northeast corner of Combs and Schnepp Roads. Now, there's two series of homes being offered here, the Discovery and the Landmark series. Discovery has 103 lots, 
and Landmark has 107 lots for a total of 210 individual home sites. The Discovery Series will have six floor plans and they're priced from about $450,000 and will go up from there. These homes range in size between 1,715 square feet up to 2,961 square feet. And now as far as the Landmark series go, it doesn't look like Taylor Morrison has really released any further information as far as floor plans or pricing just yet, so again, we'll keep an eye on that. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. And if you've been here before, well, welcome back. Now, if you like what you see and hear here, go ahead and hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up. That helps me to know that the content I'm putting out is useful and relevant to you. And while you're at it, if you could hit that subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you'll be notified every time a new video gets uploaded, which I really try to do, I don't know, about once a week. All right, now we're gonna move on over to the far west side of Santan Valley and check out two more communities. The first one there is Oral Ridge. Oral Ridge is located about a mile south of Hunt Highway along Thompson Road at Mountain Vista Boulevard. Originally, this community was called the Borgata, but it's now been renamed to Oral Ridge and it's being developed by TriPoint Homes and Shea Homes. So Sentinel at Oral Ridge by TriPoint Homes, they're gonna be offering three different floor plans and each one of them will be a single story home. TriPoint will have 52 individual home sites here and the homes will range in size from 2,665 square feet all the way up to 3,124 square feet. Now TriPoint has released the floor plans, but there's no information on pricing just yet. Shea will have two different series of homes here for a total of 139 home sites. The first series is Emblem at Oral Ridge. There's four different floor plans to choose from in this community. These homes range from 2,553 square feet up to 3,744 square feet. And like pretty much everyone else, pricing is still yet to be determined. And then moving to the Prelude series, there's three floor plans here. These homes range from 2,553 square feet up to 3,744 square feet. And of course, no pricing on this collection either. And the last community on our tour takes us just across Hunt Highway. This is a Meritage community and is called Santan Groves. Now this development is located between Empire Boulevard and Hunt Highway, and it's west of Thompson Road. There will be three different series of homes here, the Classic, the Estate, and the Reserve series. With 445 total home sites, there's actually 11 different floor plans that you can choose from. These homes will range in size from 1,365 square feet up to 2,530 square feet. Every one of them is a single story home and they have between three and five bedrooms, two to three and a half bathrooms and either a two or a three car garage, except for the Atlas, which actually comes with an attached RV garage included. Now specific pricing, I know, hasn't been determined yet, uh, but they're estimated to start in maybe the mid 400s and go up from there. Now, since you stuck with me thus far, I promised you a bonus community, so here it is. Wales Ranch is gonna be a large master plan community, and it's located on the northwest corner of Combs and Schnepp Roads in Santan Valley. It's actually just across the street from Combs Ranch, which was the second neighborhood we talked about. This 2000 home development sits on 640 acres of land, and it's gonna be built out over several phases. Now the first phase of Wells Ranch will comprise of just over 700 homes and then the second phase is expected to see about 550 homes. Ashton Woods and Lennar are the two builders identified in the first phase, but of course neither builder has released any floor plan or pricing information as of yet. Now these four communities plus the bonus one that we just mentioned are not all that there is. There are several other communities that are in the planning phases, are just starting to be developed, or are actually being developed, and will be coming in the near future. Now, I know that these developments we talked about today, that I didn't give you an awful lot of details, and mostly that's because that information just isn't available just yet. But you can rest assured that as these communities grow and develop and the models are completed, you know I'm gonna be back out there and I'll be doing individual uh, videos on each one of these. So make sure you stay tuned and keep your eyes peeled for those videos as well. 
Now, if you're thinking about building a home in Queen Creek or Santan Valley or heck, anywhere in the Phoenix metro area, and you feel like you and I might make a good fit, well, then I invite you to call, text, or email me. Also, be sure to surf around the channel. There's tons of other community videos that I think you might enjoy watching. Again, my name is John Farron. I'm a realtor with Home Smart Lifestyles here in Queen Creek, Arizona, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.